He's one of the greatest fighters to grace the octagon. They call him the notorious, the one-punch man himself, Conor McGregor. It turns out spending over a decade dominating the ring is bound to amass you quite the fortune, and Conor McGregor's net worth of $180 million didn't come easy either. Broken bones and broken dreams have been more than enough to finance his luxurious lifestyle. So today we're going to be looking at one of his prized possessions, that being a sleek-as-hell $3.9 million yacht made by Italian fancy car maker Lamborghini. Conor McGregor is a bit of a collector. He collects bruises, luxury cars, broken bones, and he collects millions of dollars for gently pushing people's faces in. Now it looks like he's starting his very own yacht collection. We're going to be taking a look at this gorgeous multi-million dollar yacht dubbed the Supercar of the Sea and decide for ourselves if Lamborghini's foray into the sea is worth such a hefty price tag. The Tecamar for Lamborghini 63. In 2020, the Italian car manufacturer Lamborghini, best known for having their cars in every famous movie ever, all the way from James Bond to the Dark Knight, collaborated with the Italian C Group and announced the birth of the Tecamar for Lamborghini 63, their new model of luxury yachts. The 63 not only referencing the year Lamborghini was founded, but also the total number of boats made. That's right, like all good luxury vehicles, this one's limited edition as well. Now before you go grabbing your checkbooks, stick around. We haven't even gotten to the juicy part yet. After just a couple of months of the yacht being announced, McGregor signed up to get one, and in July 2021, his dream came true. His three point $9 million yacht had arrived, originally costing $3.4 million, with the $500,000 added on top to give it that McGregor touch. Let me start off by stating the obvious. This super boat has Lamborghini written all over it, and I'm not just talking about the emblems either. The Lamborghini Tecamar is heavily influenced by the glorious vehicles of Lambo's past. The steering wheel is inspired by the Lamborghini Sian. Its seats that make you feel like you're in the cockpit of a fighter jet are inspired by the Lamborghini STO. Even its automatic ignition button is inspired by other Lamborghini models. And that's not all either. This car is full of references to other models all the way from its rope entry to its headlights. The chairman and CEO of Lamborghini, Stefano Domenicali, even said if he had to imagine a Lamborghini on water, this would be his vision. Now right here is how you pay homage to 63 years of brilliance. Obviously, it would be disappointing if the similarities were purely aesthetic, but I mean, this is Lamborghini we're talking about here, so you know this boat goes fast. The Tecamar comes up with two V12 2000 horsepower engines begging you to push them to their limit. You can really open it up and effortlessly reach a max speed of 60 knots or 69 miles per hour, especially out on the water where there aren't any pesky pedestrians hogging the road. The Tecamar comes with a 3600 liter tank allowing you to sail 210 nautical miles giving you ample time to take a few rounds on the water before needing to refuel. It has a digital display designed to feed the rider vital information like navigation data, temperature and humidity, really taking that fighter pilot feel to the next level level. It's only 63 feet long and weighs 24 tons, but Lamborghini has managed to make every part of it just as luxurious as the last. With sharp angles and a bullet-like sleek body built using carbon fiber, this is the kind of vehicle that causes headlines like local man marries boat. It doesn't stop there either. Other than letting customers pick what color they want their yacht to come in, the Tecamar 63 comes with three different layouts as well, absolutely spoiling us rotten with choice. First, we have the lounge version, which is equipped with a private bathroom so you don't have to do it like nature intended. It comes with a reasonably sized open space with sofas, a kitchen, a storage room, and a closet. Next, we have the single cabin version, which if you couldn't guess for the name, this version is reserved for bachelors only. Jokes aside, this version comes with a single cabin big enough to hold a king-sized bed. It also comes with a kitchen and a private bathroom. The final option offers a double cabin with separate rooms, one with a king-sized bed and the other with two individual, much smaller beds, automatically making this one the guest cabin. In 1968, founder Ferruccio Lamborghini took the first step into the water by convincing boat builder Carlo Riva to fit one of his engines into his Riva Aquarama boat, creating a sea beast that could achieve a top speed of 48 knots, making it the fastest boat ever built at that time. Needless to say, Lamborghini has come a long way since half a century ago, and Conor McGregor wasn't about to sleep on this masterpiece. McGregor's Other Yachts after all, he's always had a love for boats and being out in the open sea. I mean, who doesn't? After receiving his massive paycheck from his grueling match with Floyd Mayweather, he set out to celebrate and bought himself a yacht, jet skis, and a custom-built Volkswagen and drove out to the water. He named the vehicle 188 in reference to the amount of euros he was receiving back when he was on social welfare before he started crushing skulls. In the ring, that is. He later gifted the 188 to his dad, Papa McGregor. He didn't remain boatless for very long. In 2019, he posted a video to his Instagram page 
footage of him ordering the $3.4 million Prestige 750 yacht. This yacht is a 75-foot seafaring wonder that combines French savoir-faire, cutting-edge technology, Italian aesthetics, and unique design features. It upends traditional design codes and offers new levels of comfort, which is a very fancy way of saying it's a freaking sweet yacht. The motor yacht was designed to take you out to sea and keep you there, ignoring all the responsibilities that come with solid ground. Whether you're on open waters or at anchor, the multiple living spaces on deck, massive cockpit, and an immense terrace on the flybridge will have you dazed with comfort. The yacht provides an intimate living space with private access, a large walk-in closet, a wide desk, and an independent shower compartment. Big surprise, Conor McGregor rode this yacht to Fight Island to face Dustin Poirier at UFC 257. So far, this is about the extent of McGregor's yacht collection, although he did spot another yacht that he says made him drool. It's the vessel owned by Russian billionaire Andrei Melnichenko, his 469-foot mega yacht that cost about $300 to $400 million. A vessel beautiful enough to inspire McGregor to take a few more punches so one day he'll be the one making people drool. With his pretty boat, of course. And if you enjoyed this video, do leave us a like and check out the King Luxury channel for more videos all about luxury. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.